good morning guys welcome back to my channel so I told you guys I would do more vlogging inside my home so that's what I'm going to do I'm up everybody's gone off to school uh, my husband's off to do a job um, I've already done a load of laundry I'm about to go let my ducks out and I need to get dressed my hair and makeup is done I just need to get dressed I have to go to nanny today but my kitchen, because I had to work a lot yesterday, neglected. I mean, those are clean right there, but like, I don't know who used toaster because that was after I even went to bed. Like, and that stuff over there needs to go in my purse. That's like my planner and my pens. So yeah, my kitchen was neglected. But my other still picked up and all of that, so. It is freezing outside. Um, but it is supposed to be about, um, I think it said 53 degrees today. We need to get our air conditioners out of the windows. Um, today is November 15th which is actually my first husband's birthday today. Um, I don't know if I will be able to make it up to the cemetery today. I would like to. Um, I'm just not sure if that's gonna be in my schedule or not. If not, I can always go up tomorrow. Um, I just know that I have to work until four today um and then it's friday so like the pickup drop off of my stepdaughters is like a whole nother thing so i don't know though um i might make an appearance up there tonight even if it's in the dark um the scar has been bothering me a lot lately for some reason it is showing extra special today don't ask me why but i need to finish getting ready i need to go do my ducks and get dressed I have to be out of the house in about 20 minutes so chop 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 <laughs> hey guys okay so I vlogged for a few minutes in the house this morning I just stopped because I forgot my water at the house and the house that I'm going to to nanny at their um, their faucet water is not safe to drink from so I had to stop and grab a water, $3 that I did not want to spend for a bottle of freaking water. Um, it, I was already like rushing out the door anyways because my dog would not get off my bed. So I ended up just leaving him there, which I normally don't do because I always shut my bedroom door when I leave for the day. So he's still laying on my bed. But I was rushed out the door anyways. So I had to grab I had to grab my water. Um, but today is gonna be a long day. I'm there nine to four. I have to bring the little one to his activity this morning. Normally mom brings him, but she um she's a per diem nurse, so she goes into work um like when they absolutely need her. She doesn't have to work, she just chooses when to work. Um so she decided to go in today, so I'm gonna take him to his um, Go Kids activity. And then I'm there until four because she will need to pick up her son from, her other son from school before she comes home. Then after I leave there, <laughs> I need to go and grab my meds from my doctor's appointment yesterday, which was, by the way, a shit show, excuse my language, because I literally waited in the waiting room for an hour. For an hour, I waited in the waiting room for my doctor's appointment. Why? Because they double booked. So, I mean, at least I got into my doctor's appointment. I can say that. At least I got in there. Um, whew, it's getting hot in here right now. Um, so that got taken care of. I don't have to go back for another month. All of my clothes are getting huge on me. Huge. Like this is huge. Like even the sleeves are too long. I had to roll them up. Um, 
so yeah, so that's the plan for today. Uh, my husband asked me to go up to the clubhouse tonight. I I really don't know if I'm going to. Excuse me. I really don't know if I'm going to. Um, I've mentioned this before. Like I'm trying to keep his stuff and my stuff separate. Um, while we figure everything out. Um, financially, emotionally, all of that kind of stuff. So, I don't know if I'm actually gonna go up or not. I haven't decided. Um, I mean, I have all day to think about it. I don't have to go up until 6.30 tonight, so. I don't know, I'll just let it flow in my brain for the day, I guess. Um, This is my last week with these guys. Well, no, because I will have him for a few days next week, but it's gonna be really weird not nannying. Like I was sitting, getting ready this morning and I was thinking to myself, am I making the right decision? Like I, like I went through the whole process to get into the school for this, you know, position and you know, for a better income, to better my life, and now I'm questioning, did I make the right decision? And financially, yes. Financially, I know I made the right decision. Um, I, like I said, I'm making literally double what I make now for an extra 15 hours a week. Um, which to me is worth it, um, but I love the families that I work for, and I love the flexibility that it gives me. Um, like some weeks I have, you know, a day off to run errands, do appointments, do things that I need to do, you know, like around the house that need to get done, and now having this full-time um, Monday through Friday, seven to three position, I will not have that flexibility that I have now. That's kind of where I'm like, did I make the right decision? Only because, and I'm saying this only because, you know, my husband's kids are at the house and they do have appointments and they do, you know, things do come up, but But in the same sense, they're getting to the age now where they're old enough to be home by themselves. All of them. They're old enough to be home by themselves. Um, and I need to, and I kind of said this to my husband too, I need to focus on me more. Um, and not to sound selfish, this is not me trying to sound selfish at all, but I, I basically did the mom thing two times. Well, if you want to be technical, six times. Um, my three, and then now his three. And, you know, one of mine is the same age as his one daughter, but my other two are grown and, you know, the one is out of the house, but the other one is, he needs to, he's going to be making his way out too. Um, but it's just, I feel like I need to do me now. Um, and not like a hundred percent do me, but do you guys get what I'm trying to say? Like I need to focus more on my mental health and, um, not so much everyone else's and and it's not me again I'm not trying to sound selfish by saying this by any means what's whatsoever because I still take care of everybody in the house I still make sure everybody's taking care of all, all the things um I just need to make sure that I'm taken care of as well and my my home is financially taken care of um and I think that that's where this job is the right decision. Um, and the hoops and the, the paperwork.
paperwork and everything that I had to do to get this position, um, if I d ended up, like, deciding, like, the day before not to take it, like, I'd be kicking myself in the ass. Like, it, it was a lot of work to get this position, um, you know, because it is with a public school, I had to go through, like, Homeland Security paperwork, I had to go through state paperwork, I had to be fingerprinted, um, like, they went through all my records, like, every, everything, um, I had to have letters of recommendation, um, certain references from certain people, it was, it was definitely a process, not to mention an in-person interview as well, obviously, but I don't know, like, I, like, I'm sitting there doing my makeup this morning and I literally looked in the mirror and I'm like, oh my God, am I doing the right freaking thing? But I know I'm doing the right thing. I know, I know in the end that yes, I am doing the right thing and this is, this is what I need to do. That being said, I know as of this morning, I need to be up by 5 a.m. in the morning in order to get ready and get out the door and be to work by 7. Um, 5 a.m. <laughs> is definitely going to suck. Um, only because I already do not sleep very well. So, excuse me, you guys. My freaking nose. I even took Mucinex last night. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I've been taking allergy meds. Like, I cannot get rid of, like, the sniffles. I don't have, like, a cough or anything. Just, like, runny nose. Um, so, 5 a.m. is going to have to be the wake-up time because um, I got up at 6 this morning like I normally do. And um, that does not cut it. Uh, no, only because I need to make sure that I have all of my ducks out and they're taken care of for the day. I got to make sure my lizard is set for the day. I got to make sure the dog is set for the day. Then I got to make sure the kids are up. Um, I need to make sure that my bag is packed as well. Like, and then I need to make sure that I'm ready and I'm, you know, suitable for school as well. Not just suitable for work, but suitable for school. Um, the handbook that I got yesterday, I sat down and read and I'm just like, oh my God, like some of this stuff is self-explanatory, like, duh. Um, but some of this stuff I'm like, seriously? Like there's, you know, a certain thing I need to do with my phone when I get to the school. Um, I need to do another thing on my phone for privacy so nobody can get into my phone while I'm at school. Um, there's like so much that I, I have to prepare. Like I have to set, I have to put a couple apps on my phone, um, which I'm hoping my phone can you know, take without slowing it down or disrupting it in any way, but, like, that's another added thing, so, yeah, that's where I'm at, guys, but I'm headed to my nannying job, and I will chat with you guys later. Hey, guys, okay, so I am on my way home from my nannying job. The sun is super bright. It is 3.20. I got out early. Um, she came home early. So that was nice. Um, can't remember if I mentioned this this morning or not, but today is my um, first husband's birthday. And I um, usually go and visit his grave site on his birthday. And I, I still have a hard time and it has been 18 years. <laughs> It has been 18 years this year. Um, <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> um, but I think I've decided that I'm going to go. Um, I usually go by myself. My older two kids, um, they, they kind of know that I, I need that, um, that time to, um, how should I put this? Um, lose my shit, excuse my language, um, like I normally do, um, and, uh, 
they they tend to go on their own as well. Um, I've said this before. They were very young when he passed. My youngest was only um, a year and a half old, and my oldest was um, three and a half. So <clears throat> there's, you know, a lack of memories and things like that for them, but they they know who their you know their father is. I pictures of him with them and all of us as a family and so I think that I know I decided I'm going to um, go up there tonight um, I'm saying this on here but it is technically against the law to go into the cemetery after dusk but <laughs> it being fall time here in upstate New York it is going to be dark in the next hour, um, and I will not be there. I, can, I cannot get up there in the next hour, so I will be going in there in the dark. Um, I have before, so it's not like I haven't done this. Um, I messaged his best friend to see if his best friend um, is going to go. His best friend is also our kid's godfather. Um, we have stayed in touch still all of these years. He's an amazing guy. Um, my kids love him. And, uh, he is going to go, but he is going later this evening. Later this evening, because him and his wife are going to dinner. Um, he normally would go with me. And he... We, I don't know how to explain it. We have this, um, this type of bond over the situation. Um, I'm like having this conversation while I'm driving is probably really not a good conversation to have because I do get emotional about it. <laughs> Sorry guys. Um, I'm just putting the glasses on because I, I can already see the sun up, up here, but, um, he, he's been there since day one, since the whole situation. So I know that I can count on him, um, for anything. Uh, my husband passed away from a car accident. <clears throat> um, he was the only car involved. He was on his way home from work and the tire rod in the front of the car snapped and he went off the road, um, and hit a tree. And, um, the day after his accident, two days after his accident, I had to go clean out our vehicle and his best friend, my kid's godfather, took me. And, um, let's just say it is a memory that is burned <laughs> and engraved in our minds for the rest of our lives. Sorry. Him and I still have discussions about it. Um, not something anybody should ever have to see. actually just talking to him a few minutes ago and uh, he was like maybe it's a good thing that you go by yourself tonight hmm. he's like I just got a feeling maybe it, maybe you need to go alone tonight so maybe what's happening right now is a preview <laughs> you know a smaller preview of what's to come tonight and that's probably why um, 
he said that. I just, he knows how I get at the cemetery, um, because we've gone together multiple times. Uh, once quite, quite recently. Um, and, uh, it's just, um, it's a shitty situation. Um, you know, I, I was young. Uh, my husband was young today would have been his 43rd birthday. Um, and he passed away 18 years ago. So it's, it's a touchy subject, <laughs> but I, I am going to go up. I decided I'm going to do it. Um, just making frozen pizzas for dinner tonight. It's a Friday night. Uh, my youngest stepdaughter is not coming tonight. She's going to come tomorrow. My one stepdaughter already left with her mom for the weekend. And the oldest stepdaughter is going to her friends for the night. So it'll just be my son and my husband and myself at the house tonight. But again, my husband will not be there. He's going to go up to the clubhouse tonight. I have not decided if I'm going to go yet or not. I might just make an appearance, um, only because the cemetery is actually on the, the way to and from, uh, the clubhouse. It's like, I have to go by the clubhouse to get to the cemetery anyways. So, um, I might just stop and make an appearance, but yeah, um, sorry. I did not expect to get that emotional. I'm really sorry, you guys. Um, so that is the plan. I might just make an appearance there. Um, probably won't stay long. I've been ready for bed at a very early time. My, um, I have mentioned this to you guys before. My health is not the greatest and I am on meds, uh, for it. Hence the weight loss, um, hence the weight loss and, uh, my antidepressants as well at nighttime kind of make me a little drowsy. Um, so, and that's why I take them at night. So I'm not drowsy during the day so I can do what I need to do. Um, and my doctor says that if that's, if it works that way for me, then that's what I need to do. So, um, I had someone comment in my last video. Um, if I take any vitamins, yes, I, I, t I do. I take, um, excuse me. I take a vitamin D. I take vitamin B. Um, I take, um, a lot of gummy vitamins only because I, I'm not a pill or let me rephrase that. I don't have any problem taking pills, but capsules, capsules absolutely kill me. I don't know what it is. I, I honestly, God, don't know what it is, but a lot of vitamins are in a capsule form. And as soon as I open the, the container of the vitamins, it gags me and totally deters me, excuse me, from being able to take the vitamin. So what I do is I find them in a gummy form instead. And I'm, able to tolerate that. But I've shown you guys that I like the Oh Good brand um, and I can find them at Dollar General. And they're $5 for a 30 day supply. That's what I grab. Um, and I take, um, I also take some magnesium gummies and there's a couple others that I also take and I can't think of them off of the top of my head right now. Um, but I have shown you guys some of the gummies that I do take. Um, but yes, I do take vitamins to help with mood, with my moods and my anxiety and seasonal depression and non-seasonal depression, just depression in general. Um, like I mentioned in my previous video, I have ADHD and OCD, um, on top of my depression and my anxiety. Um, something I've also not shared is I have BPD, um, borderline, 
personality disorder as as well. Um, obviously, it is caused by trauma in my life. <laughs> my life has been shit. Um, <laughs> I've mentioned this before. Um, my mother never should have been a mother. I'm sorry about the sun, you guys. It's really bad right now. Um, my mother should have never been a mother. I... lost, you know, my first husband and then the relationship after him was a very physical, mental, sexual, financial, any type of abuse you could think of, I endured for years in that relationship. And it took me a long time to get the strength to start over and get out. Um, I've mentioned that in, pre in a previous vlog, um, more in depth. And my, obviously my BPD is because of trauma and post-traumatic stress. I have PTSD. <laughs> um, I got a long list guys. Um, I'm all sorts of messed up apparently. So aren't, aren't we all these days? Um, but I try to make the most of it. I try to make every day a new day. Um, the best way that I possibly can. Not every day is going to be a good day. Not every day is going to be a new day. Um, I could wake up tomorrow and tomorrow could be a shit show and then the next day could be a shit show again. And I won't know until I wake up. But I try, I try my hardest to make sure that I have good days. But I guess the whole point of that ramble was and that crying session was to say, yes, I am gonna go up to the cemetery tonight for a few minutes. I don't, I don't stay very long. I say what I need to say and I leave only because I know that if I stay again, excuse my language, I lose my shit. <laughs> um, emotional is an understatement. Uh, and it just brings me to a place I don't want to be mentally. So I, I try my hardest um, not to stay there long. And if I do go, my husband's friend is usually with me. Um, and we get through it together. But, like he said, maybe it's a good thing that I go by myself tonight. So, we'll see. <sighs> but I am almost home. And like I said, I'm going to start trying to vlog more inside my home. So you guys see the more realistic life um, and see I'm playing with this my ADHD I'm anxious um, yeah I'm almost home so I will talk to you guys in a bit good morning guys it is Saturday um, I have candles lit I'm sitting down for a minute picked up my meds and um, I'm about to do the dishes in the kitchen because I did not do them again yesterday because I didn't feel like it so I need to get them done and I need to do some vacuuming. That is the plan for the day. I remember when we were staring at photos Don't forget the way you look me in the eyes And I keep you in my heart And my heart is where you are I still think of you, I want you coming back 